Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, so today I decided to kind of finish up some journals that have been sitting around half finished for quite a while. Um, this one was one I worked on this morning and I finally finished a little page here and then that's the end of this one. Um, I could do something with that but I've decided that it's time to put this one to bed. So um, what I decided to do is grab all of the little journal inserts that I have sitting around my um, art room and see what I could work on today. It's really a matter of trying to go through a lot of these little containers of stuff that I've spoken about several times that I just keep throwing things in there and then maybe using them up and I thought it'd be kind of fun to just blast through some of these, get through some of this stuff that I've accumulated over the years, and make a video in the meantime. So I'm going to get started. Like I always do, I'll go ahead and break in and kind of, you know, chit-chat as, as I progress if I feel it's necessary. But in the meantime, I'm going to flip through. Like this one is not even, I mean, that was, that was, this was something that I had a different plan for with goal setting and stuff. And I decided to go a different route. This is something that I used on a previous um, project that I took apart. As you can see, a lot of the stuff has been torn off of there. And I wanted to go ahead and just go ahead and re reuse that. Um, this is another one of those goal setters. This is blank. These are just, I wanted to use up some um, cardstock. And these are kind of fun to just paint and then... Um, put some tissue on and just kind of rough up, make fun. Here's another one. And then I've got this one. This is one that I had been using for memory keeping and I decided to go a different route with memory keeping. I was spending a lot of time putting memories in here and then not working on my project life. So I decided to take my memories out of there. Here's another one. I've ne This is just one I threw together with some scraps from around my art room. This is one I I started that I could probably go ahead and finish. Put that one to that side. Another one that's just scraps. I think that this one was one I was going to do as a giveaway, but I did a really bad job at um, putting it together and the pages started to fall out of it and I did not want to send that away to somebody to have it fall apart. And this one right here, as you can see, there's a lot in here. This was just kind of a fun, you know, practice, you know, um, like I said, getting rid of stuff on my desk, kind of fun. And um, I've got a few more pages left. It's kind of funny because you'd think that that one was all the way full, but it's actually only half done. So I'll work on that one. And then this one was my, um, this is a quote journal, which I love quotes, and I know a lot of people do. And so um, I... Each page has a little quote. These are just some quotes from, you know, ephemera packs or Project Life cards. Um, this one, I think, may be from a paper pack. And I think this one was something that I printed up off the Internet. Yeah. So I had a collection of quote cards, and I, ha I just have a, a container of them, and I just pull them out and work at, at will. And look, if I... Yeah, there's... There's a few pages on that one, so I'll put that one over there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start. I'll just start grabbing some stuff and working on some pages. I'm thinking that this is the one I'm going to try to work on now since the pages are kind of, sort of, you know, under the heading of prepped. These are some bits that I pulled out of... Um, one of these journals that I was pulling apart. This is a po uh, library pocket. I'm not going to throw that away. So these are bits that I don't want to throw away and I thought I'd go ahead and maybe I'll just do this this page spread with them. This is something new. It's a mess right now. Um, I used to keep my my mini journals in here. These little guys, I had it full of little mini ones, and I it, it just was sitting around. I kind of, you know, I have so many projects that I really do need to finish up. But I 
started throwing stuff in here that I knew I was going to use and this has become the best little tool kit that I've ever come across. I just absolutely love it. What I what I do is, um, you know, I'll work on a project and I'll just, when I want to kind of end it and do the pencil part, I just want a place to throw everything. And then I can go ahead and, you know, clean it up later, straighten it out, you know. But in the meantime, it's just the best thing. If you have a little tote like this, this you need to put it together for your art and it just, you always know where all your stuff is. You're not searching around for things. I have these smaller rings for washi, but you can use anything. You can use a... Um, book rings, big book rings to put your washi on and throw them in there. It's they're just it's fantastic. I absolutely that has been invaluable to me. I have no plan. I just want to use stuff up. Um, I've been spending most of my time lately, like many people on the planet, kind of prepping and fussing and tidying and doing and then taking a nap and starting all over again and I'm just a little little worn out on all the on all the worry and all the the things I have less to worry about than your average person believe me I'm truly truly blessed on many many levels healthy family my husband still has a job lots of great things to be truly thankful for but he does have some health issues, and so there are things that I have to make sure that I am taking care of so that he stays healthy. And, uh, you know, just like everybody else, it can get to you after a while to, to deal with all of it. So I decided that I needed to start doing a little bit of non... Um, uh, let's see, how do we put this? Um, just fun art. No, no, no strings attached, no agendas, just getting in my room and having a little fun. Little R&R &R type stuff. At one time I'd use this as a journaling card, but I think I'm just going to decorate it and maybe put a something on the back that I can journal on if I decide to. I, To be honest with you, right now journaling, I do a little bit of it here and there, but I really just want to, you know, just have a little fun, just play around a little bit and not worry about how great something looks or whether or not I'm, you know, I just don't feel like accomplishing anything right now non-accomplishment mode right now. There, how it slides in. As you can see, it is a mess. This card is a mess, but I think we can fix it. I don't necessarily have to use all these little things that I've torn off other pages and had just laying on my desk. I just thought it'd be kind of a fun challenge. Why not? I don't know why that has two. Maybe I was being clever. I don't like that. Into the bowl, where everything goes, to use up at another time.
I know from first-hand experience that trying to get these pencil marks off of there is going to be a exercise in futility, so I'd rather just try to work with them. And I realize that using up old stuff from other journals isn't everybody's cup of tea, but um, I like the challenge first of all, and I just I wish I could be a type of person that could throw stuff away, but for some reason that's just not my strength, so. And right now, because I can't get to a craft store, because I don't want to leave the house if I'm unnecessarily, what a great way to stretch the finances a little bit. this because it's got this kind of a gray blue in it. I'm trying to figure out like where would it kind of pop, you know? And not take away from the image. So I don't know. I'll save it. It's perfect for something. I'm not sure what it is. One thing that I've been trying to do that I thought was kind of fun. Um, hold on. There. All right. So one thing that I've been doing lately, just as something fun, is I've been laying um, strips of washi across surfaces to just decorate it. And I have all this old writing that it doesn't seem to want to come up. I don't really want to look at that anymore. So I'm thinking that, I don't know. I was thinking about just putting a washi sheet on there just to kind of blend that background a little bit. I think this will be too much. I think I just need to pick one of these to throw over at the top of that. and You know, just to kind of hide it a little bit. I don't want to hide everything, I just kind of want to blend it. There. Keeping the integrity of the tag and hiding some of the writing. Then I'll just kind of put something there and call it good because it's it's just a tag that's going to be sticking in a pocket. I don't need to put too fine a point on it. So these, I thought this might be a little tiger. Kind of bring some of the muted tones from up there down into here so it kind of balances a little bit. And he's a tiger. It's kind of a win.
things don't stick to the uh, this has gesso all over it and sometimes um, things won't stick to the gesso very well so get that trusty guy out So, my opinion right now is that this came out super cute, and I don't know if I want to hide it in there. So, what to do, what to do, right? Don't know. Maybe it could go on another page, because I really like the way that looks. Let's see. Yeah. That's what I'll do. As you can see, this was torn off a, out of another um, journal. I decided not to throw it away. It's cute. Because I'm putting something with gesso on top of some washi, definitely have to use the uh, adhesive roller or else it will not stick. There. I'm not sure if I like this. Apparently when I was making this, I Missed a spot. I could always paint it, but I was wondering if I should. I don't know if it peeled off or not. Throwing caution to the wind here. It's got a little bit of water in it. No, that's not the one I want. I want this one. 
truth be told, this will eventually end up in a closet, <laughs> in a container maybe. So it doesn't matter about these small details, but I don't know if this is going to work out or not. Come on, get in there. When it dries, it might look better. We'll see. As per usual, time to clean up my space, throw everything into my tote, and do the pencil. Which, I've switched over to a 6B. Because, um, the 8 is so messy, I just really got tired of... If I went offline, you know, if I went, like, into the pieces with that other, with a number 8, I couldn't seem to get the pencil erased off of it, and I was just starting to get really frustrated with that, so I switched back to the 6s. All right, so there you have it. I like the way it came out. I like my little tag. I think I like that the best. That was really fun. Um, bit of a mess, but you know, kind of grungy. I like it that way. So there you have it. Using up some stuff from around the house, using some stuff from my, um, my desk, and having a little fun, a little R&R. &R. I might right on here, I might not, I don't know. The, the, the whole idea is to just give myself a little self-care time, a little time for creativity to kind of get my mind off of all the stuff that's going on right now, and I hope you found that inspiring and that you'll get into some of your long-lost art journals or some of your um, ephemera that's just kind of sitting around in containers and come up with a plan. So as always, thank you so much for visiting my channel and uh, take care of yourself. Okay. Bye-bye.